In this video, I'm gonna show you a cool, amazing tool that you can use to show your comments or overlay your chat using Facebook Live and OBS for free, just like this. And honestly, I think every OBS user should have this tool. What's up guys, my name is Sam from Live Production Tips and Tools. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and let's navigate the live streaming and video recording world together. I've been looking for the perfect OBS tool that you can use to overlay uh, your chat while live streaming, especially on Facebook, because there are so many tools right now that you can use for YouTube or Twitch. If you need those tools, I'm going to be putting some links down below of some of the videos that I did. But for Facebook, it was still not perfect until now. This guy called Steve has actually created a social stream ninja that you can easily use to show your comments on Facebook Live while using OBS and it's so easy to use and I'm gonna show you every single step on how to get it and how to get started with it and you guys you're going to love this so make sure you share to everyone that you know that streams on Facebook and OBS because I believe this is the only tool that you can get for free to be able to do this kind of thing and get amazing results. So let's not take much time, let's get right into it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a link to the download page right now in my description. So all you have to do is just go to that link. It's gonna take you to the download page, okay? So once you click to it, you're gonna get to a page that looks like this. By the way, I'm gonna put even like download link that you can actually click. When you click to it, it's going to directly download the file. So you don't need to kind of pass through the page. But if you wanna pass through the page, this is what you're gonna get, okay? This is Steve, the guy who made the chat too. And you're gonna go on the top here, okay? Code, you're gonna go to download uh, the zip file, okay? So let's go ahead and download it, okay? So the good thing about this tool, it's actually a Chrome extension. So it's not gonna be a problem. Either use a Mac or PC, you're gonna be able to use uh, this tool. So once you download it, you're gonna get this little file into your download folder. The next thing you have to do, you're gonna go to open your Chrome browser, you know, as usual, go to extensions and let's go to manage extension. So once you have access to your extensions, what you're gonna do, go to developer mode, okay? So it's important you have to toggle this. It has to be on developer mode, okay? Very important. Once you're there, it's gonna give you these options here. Load unpacked, okay? Click uh, the folder that we downloaded and you should be able to install it. And as you can see now, it's working, okay? It's kinda installed. So this is what it looks like. Now, to be able to use it and be able to actually see it here on the top, as you can see, if I go to my extension icon here, it's right here, okay? So as you can see, it shows up here. Now, to be able to have it already kinda ready for you, you need to click this pin kind of thing. So you're gonna be able to pin it right here. You're gonna click here. As you can see, the icon is already here and you have two links. The first one is the Dockable Stream Chat link, which is the link that you are going to use uh, to, you know, to be able to see the messages coming in, okay? The second link is the one that is actually going to embed or bring in uh, every single chat. So you're gonna see it in a moment in OBS. Another very, very important step is to click enable extension, okay? So if it's not enabled, nothing is gonna happen, okay? So let's go ahead and click enable extension. And as you can see, it becomes uh, a little green, okay? And what we're gonna do, we're gonna click the dockable uh, streaming chat link, okay? Because we're gonna need it. This is where we're gonna see all the chat coming in. And I'm gonna go ahead and go to my Facebook, uh, actually live stream, okay? As you can see, this is what it looks like on my page, okay? So this is another very, very important step. You need to click to your Facebook live video and go to this little icon that says enlarge, okay? So you need to enlarge your video, okay? Very important. If you don't do this, your messages are not going to show up. So let's go ahead and click enlarge. 
and as you can see it's already you know i got some messages here already okay but i'm gonna type you know add more messages so let me go ahead and actually send a message uh right now so i just send a message or a chat okay and as you can see all the messages are already there okay boom like magic now that we have all the comments the next step we are going to bring all the comments into obs and actually bring the doc as well so i'm gonna go to obs right now this is my main camera i'm gonna go to my sources and i'm gonna add a browser source and i'm gonna call it social ninja or chat something like that or social chat ninja doesn't make a difference and i'm gonna click ok and i'm gonna go back to my extension right here okay so click to the extension and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna bring the single message overlay link okay just to give you an example before i take to obs if i click to it okay as you can see basically what it does it gives you a transparent background with the message that you choose so let's go ahead and say i if i highlight this message or this comment and if i go here you can see it gives you a preview of what the message is going to look like so basically that's why this does okay but personally i don't really need it here so i'm gonna need it more uh in obs okay so that's where we're gonna use exactly this link here so let's go ahead and actually click to it and copy the link and we're gonna go to obs okay and then we're gonna go to our source here the link we're gonna paste it in here okay and we're gonna make it 1920 by 300 you can make it 1920 by 300 400 or 200 really doesn't matter you can still resize it uh, afterwards okay so just to make sure i kind of face the lower third area in obs and i'm gonna click refresh browser when scene becomes available or active and then click ok as you can see it's showing up here on the top so we're gonna take it down a little bit like here around here this is what it looks like now there's nothing yet we're gonna go ahead and bring in a doc okay because we need to be able to see all the comments within obs you don't want to uh, be toggling between obs and the browser right so let's go back to the extension and we're gonna go to the dockable streaming chat link and click uh, copy so we're gonna copy the link we're gonna go back to obs and we're gonna go ahead and go to view docs and go to custom browser docs so i'm gonna add a new doc we're gonna call it uh social chat ninja i'm gonna paste the link in here and i'm gonna hit apply and as you can see i got the doc i can put it somewhere here uh so you can put it anywhere in obs you know in any way you want and if you want you can go ahead to docs and lock uh ui so to make sure it doesn't move so now we have the doc in here what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our chat here and actually start selecting comments and see if we get anything in obs and then if i go back to my obs you can see i have all the comments available for me right this is the part where i get excited this is where the magic happens so basically what you have to do you don't have to crop anything you don't have to apply any filter or anything what you do is just click any uh, comment to any comment and it's going to show up as simple as that it works really really good you know it's like really perfect you know as you can see look i can just click to any comment boom boom so as you can see everything works well uh, what i can do i can go back to uh my facebook you know you can even test it on your phone send yourself some comments using your phone but again let me go ahead as you can see i'm live streaming the comments are here so if you have suggestions or anything that is not working right make sure you put it down in the comment because i'm gonna forward everything to steve and he keeps working on it updating it so hopefully he's gonna be able to fix it but 
so far this thing works perfectly once you have it set up in obs you should be good for average people like me uh, we're gonna be stuck with this kind of look okay but if you know a little bit about programming actually make sure you watch the steve's video it's an open source extension so you can actually do some other cool stuff like changing colors changing the way the chat uh looks maybe add a little bit of animation and everything but that's going to really depend on what you want. Personally, I'm happy with it. I'm super, super grateful to this guy. Thank you, Steve, for making this tool. If you do live stream on YouTube and Twitch, I'm actually gonna do another video showing you how you can use the same tool to actually show your comments, uh, both on YouTube and Twitch. At the same time, you can use this chat to actually show all the three platforms uh, chats together at the same time for free guys for free and so easy to set up so once i make the video i should link it at the end of this video so either for twitch and youtube so make sure you click on those if you are interested make sure you share this video to every single obs user that you know don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button if you think this video was helpful and i'll see you hopefully on my next video take care